Hey there, brioche enthusiasts! Welcome back to the Vegan Sweet Addiction, where we always stay present to your sweet craving with our vegan touch. I'm Valentine, your vegan French pastry chef. Today, we're diving headfirst into a breakfast extravaganza that will redefine your mornings. Picture this a vegan brioche that's not only delicious and fluffy, but also brought a secret baking technique known as autolith. Buckle up! Because we are not stopping here. We are about to explore the realm of culinary delight with not one, not two, but three extraordinary recipes. Cinnamon roll, babka, and none the least, Swedish cardamom buns. To kick things off, we're embarking on a global culinary adventure with cinnamon rolls. The Spiral Wonder are a delightful blend of sweet cinnamon-infused goodness that will make your taste bud dance as we journey to the United States. Now for a second masterpiece, brace yourself for babka roll. Layer of soft, twisted dough, swirled with rich chocolate. We are taking a detour to Eastern Europe to savor this delightful treat. And now get ready for our pièce de résistance, Swedish cardamom buns. Those fragrant, fluffy rolls are infused with the warm and aromatic essence of cardamom. As we make a stop to Sweden to explore their culinary traditions, we've got the classic, the chocolatey, and the aromatic. Three delectable recipes that will elevate your pastry game. Like always, you can find the recipe linked in the description or on vegansweetaddiction.com. Search cinnamon roll, bakka, or cardamom roll. If you enjoyed our video, consider liking it commenting on it and sharing it. It really do help us a lot. You can also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Before we dive into the awesomeness of our recipes, let's chat about our main hero, the brioche bread. But here's the juicy secret, the autolyse technique. Think of it like letting your flour and water have a chat before inviting the rest of your ingredient to the party. The result? A brioche that's fluffier than a cloud and tastier than dream. Let's rock that autolis magic and turn flour and water into something extraordinary. All right, friends, here's where the breakfast magic begins. For a mind-blowing vegan brioche, you will need 585 grams of all-purpose flour, 82 grams of sugar, 18 grams of salt, 24 grams of fresh yeast, 180 grams of margarine and some water. Grab a big bowl and toss in your all-purpose flour, sugar and salt. Now top it with your water. At this stage, I'm going to let it in the kitchenette for about one to two minutes. I just want it to be incorporated. It doesn't need to work the flour. It's going to work with the 30 minute pause just after. One hour later, two hours later, three hours later. When you have one homogeneous bowl like that, you can let it rest for half an hour. For the resting time, kitchen towel is perfect. All right, the autolis has worked its wonder. Now we're going to add the margarine and the freshest. 24 grams of freshest. Want the dough to rise like a pro? That's the yeast that will do the trick. Mix it all up until you have a dough that feels as cozy as a warm hug. And now we're going to knead it for about five to 10 minutes. Now I'm going to film it and leave it in the fridge for 12 hours overnight, it's perfect. The next day. Let's kick off our adventure with recipe number one, 
cinnamon roll that scream yum. Soft dough, a dash of cinnamon, and the creamy frosting. Did you know that cinnamon roll are like time travelers? They scream USA, but actually, they date back to ancient Egypt. Match made in bakery heaven that nobody can resist. I'm going to start by melting the margarine into a pomade. And now I'm going to leave that on the side while I roll one third of my brioche. So I'm going to divide this dough into three equal pieces, 380 grams for each, but you can of course just choose one flavor. And like that, that's perfect. You don't want it to be too thin or too thick. So it's going to be nice like that. Doesn't need to be perfect. Like that, it's perfectly fine. Serve those vegan cinnamon roll one and watch them vanish faster than you can say second please. Those vegan cinnamon roll are a crowd pleaser and everybody is going to ask for a second and a third serving. Soft, fluffy and with that irresistible cinnamon sugar feeling, they are perfect for every occasion. It's time for recipe number two, Bacca, a swirly chocolate symphony. Those delicious treats are a mass full of joy. A layer of chocolate spread and a layer of soft, buttery brioche bread. My péché mignon, if I can say so. Ever wonder why it's called a babka? Well, it's got a grandma connection. Babka sounds a lot like a grandma nickname. Well, that's because it's derived from the Slavic word, which means grandma. Time to roll out your sleep, quite literally. We will take that brioche dough and roll it out. And speaking of feeling, I've got an homemade chocolate and hazelnut spread that is ready to party. You can find the recipe linked in the description or on vegansweetaddiction.com. Your choice. And now I'm going to brush them with a mix of plant-based milk and syrup. And then they're going to go in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
now prepare for our taste sensation with this individual chocolate and hazelnut vodka. Their captivating, twisted and knotted appearance makes them almost too pretty to eat. Almost. The grand finale of our brioche world tour. We've journeyed from cinnamon infused morning to chocolatey delight. And now we're going for a Swedish cardamom egg with recipe number three. Swedish cardamom bun. Press yourself, folks, because the Swedish cardamom buns are the rock star of Swedish pastry. Imagine soft buttery dough kissed by the fragrance of cardamom spice. Yum. It's a superstar that reigns in Scandinavian baking. Vegan margarine, sugar, and cardamom spice. Now it's time to savor the aromatic goodness of our individual vegan Swedish cardamom bun. Each bite is like a warm hug from Sweden, perfect for your taste bun and soul. I swear they are like the perfect vodka. The dough is perfect, but my homemade chocolate spread is just amazing. 